Hello and welcome to Verdict 2015. Our voting is currently underway for the second phase of elections in Bihar. The fate of 456 candidates in 32 constituencies spread over six districts is up for the mandate. All news and updates from Bihar in the next half an hour. I am Ashwarya Kapoor. Let us begin with the election headlines. Voting for second phase of elections in Bihar underway. Voters in six districts excise their franchise to decide the fate of 456 candidates. Security blanket across districts polling today. Paramilitary forces, aerial and video surveillance is in place to ensure free and fair polls. Set back to the third front in Bihar. NCP announces it will contest alone. Says it doesn't agree with Mulayam Singh's remarks endorsing the BJP. And the Election Commission relies on advanced technology to assist officials as they check the use of black money in these elections. Well, voting is currently underway in six districts of Bihar for the second phase. Now, massive security arrangements are in place as some of the most sensitive areas in the state are polling. After the high-voltage campaigning for the second phase of elections in Bihar ended on Wednesday evening, today is the big day when six districts in the state vote to decide their future candidates. Tight security is in place as many of the districts are Naxal affected. All paramilitary forces have been sent to their own area. The area of domination is still going on. We have been doing the confidence of the voters. We have been doing the flag marches. There are also going to be demining operations, anti-Naxal, anti-criminal operations. Our flying squad team is static. Checking teams, her point for checkings lagi hai. Like in phase one, paramilitary forces are manning the polling booths across the state. The responsibility of patrolling is with the local police. There's also an aerial surveillance of sensitive polling booths. Drones are being used to keep vigil. Video surveillance at polling booths is being done and flying squad teams are in place to address any complaints. Landmine protection vehicles are marching in Naxal affected areas. 20 companies of the paramilitary forces are engaged in road opening work. बहुत बड़ी संख्या में पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स आ रही है जो प्रत्येक मतदान केंद्र पर रहेगी ताकि लोगों को सुरक्षित होने का एहसास हो सके और एक कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डिंग मेजर हो सके हमारा जिला नक्सल अफेक्टेड भी है उसके लिए भी हम लोगों ने पूरी तैयारियां की है क्योंकि नक्सल अफेक्टेड होने के कारण कई प्रकार के नए सिक्योरिटी कंसर्न्स रहते हैं तो उन सभी को हम लोगों ने एड्रेस करने की कोशिश की है लेकिन फिर भी पूरी अलर्टनेस है ताकि किसी प्रकार की दुर्घटना न हो वोटिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट टूडे थर्टी टू सीट इन दीज सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट आर वोटिंग 456 candidates are in the fray. Voting is being held in Gaya, Rohtas, Arwal, Kaimur, Jahanabad and Aurangabad. Polling began at 7 a.m. and will end by 3 p.m. in one third of the seats, 4 p.m. in the other third of the seats and 5 p.m. in the final third. Voting percentage during the previous elections in these districts was low. The election commission had initiated several programs to educate voters here on the need to exercise their franchise. Religious organizations also appeal to people to exercise their rights. Polling time has been revised in sensitive areas. The voting percentage in the first phase of elections was 2% more than the last time, but that figure was less than expected. There is hope that better security and awareness about the need to vote will positively impact voter turnout today. Pranav Goswami's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Now, reporter spoke to our Lakshmanan, additional chief election officer in Bihar, ahead of the second phase of polling about the security measures put in place in the Naxal affected districts going to the polls. He also talked about the model polling booths in the area. Our Lakshmanan ji, the first question is that the most less than 32 seats are being done. And it is being seen in a special way, because it is a whole Naxal area. What is the way of looking at the Naxal area? What are you looking at? खास करके जो सेकेंड फेज ऑफ इलेक्शंस हैं बिहार विधानसभा निर्वाचन 2015 में लेफ्ट विंग एक्सट्रीमिस्ट अफेक्टेड एरियाज ज़्यादा हैं तो उसके लिए कुल मिला के 993 कंपनीज ऑफ फोर्स इसमें डिप्लॉय किया गया जिसमें सेंट्रल आर्म पुलिस फोर्स और स्टेट पुलिस फोर्स शामिल हैं इसमें हर एक पोलिंग स्टेशन में जो प्राइमरी सिक्योरिटी कवर है वो सेंट्रल आर्म पुलिस फोर्स दे रहा है And especially जो left wing extremists affected areas में उसके लिए specially trained force को लगाया गया और in fact पिछले दो महीने से इस area में लगातार operations की जा रही है in terms of area domination, ROP, demining आज भी एक bomb मिला है पुल के नीचे से bomb बरामद हुआ है वहाँ पे तो ये security forces का ये लगातार ये operations चल रहा है और पिछले दो महीने से इसमें illegal weapons 
कार्ट्रिजेस बॉम्ब एक्सप्लोजिव ये सारे रिकवर हुआ है तो इसमें तैयारी मतलब काफ़ी हद तक मतलब पुलिस फोर्स और सेंट्रल आर्म पुलिस फोर्स ने मिल किया है और इस बार मतलब एयर सर्विलेंस के लिए भी दो हेलीकॉप्टर्स और तीन यू का भी उपयोग किया जा रहा है जिससे जो ओवरऑल नक्सल मूवमेंट या अदरवाइज ऑपरेशनल पर्पस के लिए इसको उपयोग किया जाएगा इसके अतिरिक्त थ्री लेयर ऑफ पेट्रोलिंग अरेंजमेंट्स भी हैं जिसमें तीन चार बूथ पे एक पेट्रोलिंग पार्टी रहता है उसके ऊपर दस बारह पोलिंग स्टेशन पर एक सेक्टर मैजिस्ट्रेट रहते हैं उसके ऊपर जोनल मैजिस्ट्रेट रहते हैं इस तरह से मल्टी टायर सिक्योरिटी अरेंजमेंट हम लोगों ने किया है एंड वी वुड लाइक टू अश्योर दी वोटर्स की सिक्योरिटी के लिए जितनी भी आवश्यक तैयारी है वो पूर्ण किया हुआ है एंड दे शुड कम आउट एंड वोट उसके लिए वोटरों को आप कैसे इंश्योर करें कि बाहर आए अपने मत का मतदान करें इनफैक्ट uh, आप देखेंगे फर्स्ट uh, फेज में भी uh, चार पांच जिले थे जो लेफ्टिंग एक्सट्रीमिस्ट अफेक्टेड एरियाज में थे इनफैक्ट आप जमुई का उदाहरण लिया है जमुई में पिछले पंद्रह साल में सबसे ज़्यादा मतदान मतलब इस बार हुआ है आ, और पिछली बार से लगभग छः से सात प्रतिशत अधिक मतदान हुआ है तो ये दिखाता है कि मतलब लोग अपना काफ़ी मात्रा में बाहर आ रहे हैं और अपना मताधिकार का प्रयोग कर रहे हैं और इस बार भी हम लोग इस एरिया में और अदरवाइज भी सारे डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में वोटर अवेयरनेस रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज़ भी पिछले करीब फोर्टी फाइव डेज से हम लोग लगातार सभी माध्यम से कर रहे हैं टी रेडियो पोस्टर्स वन टू वन बेसिस पे विलेज लेवल वर्कर्स हैं तो सब लोग मिल इसमें वोटर अवेयरनेस और वोटिंग के इम्पोर्टेंस और उनके लिए क्या क्या फैसिलिटेशन मेशर्स किया हुआ है जो आदर्श पोलिंग बूथ बना था वो इस बत्तीस जो विधानसभा की सीटें हैं उनमें कितने आदर्श पोलिंग बूथ बने हैं इसमें 212 मॉडल पोलिंग स्टेशन बनाए गए जिसमें ये बेसिक मिनिमम फैसिलिटीज़ के अतिरिक्त अन्य मतलब वोटर्स को सुविधा के लिए भी अपना अतिरिक्त व्यवस्था किया गया है तो क्या ये माना जाए कि जो वोट प्रतिशत है गया और ये जो छह जिले हैं गया को लेकर वहाँ पर भी इस बार बढ़ेगा वोट प्रतिशत और लोगों में उत्साह है मतदान को लेकर तो अभी तक जो फर्स्ट फेज में उत्साह देखा गया और अभी तक जो हम लोग सेकेंड फेज के साथ भी अपना देख रहे हैं ग्राउंड लेवल में जो एक्टिविटीज़ तो इस बार लग रहा है कि मतलब मतदाताओं का जो पार्टिसिपेशन है जरूर बेटर रहेगा All right, Mr. Faisal Ahmed is the bureau chief for the pioneers now joining us live from Patna. Patna. Uh, good morning, Mr. Ahmed, and thank you so much for joining us this morning, uh, Mr. Ahmed. Now, six districts that are voting today are known as the red zone. Really commendable job by both the election commission and the security personnel for the conduct of peaceful uh, polls today. Yeah, that's right. Uh, all these six districts in Bihar, in cent, but in Central Bihar, they are all Maoist infested areas, and had tra traditionally been the breeding ground for the Maoism. Mm -hmm. That also resulted into the uh, emergence of private armies, uh, that led to a number of uh, uh, violence and uh, killings. It got a nickname of Killing Fields of Bihar. So. today the election is today the election is going on in these regions in these red infested regions that is a big task for the election commission as well as the security forces absolutely a big challenge really for the security forces and commendable action really by the election commission and uh, the security forces and if you look politically mr emmer now this region with the 32 assembly seats is consider a better feel for the bjp than uh, the areas that were covered in the first phase of elections yeah you see in these 32 uh, constituencies currently 21 are held by jdu and its ally rjd hmm. and the remaining by uh, bjp hmm. so big stakes for nitish kumar lalu yadav as well as uh, former chief minister jitan ram manji Hmm. the founder of uh, hindustani awam morcha who is also contesting from two constituencies that is imam ganj and khus uh, makhdumpur yes so uh, and uh, uh, about seven candidates of uh, hindustani awam morcha are contesting uh, in 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 this region hmm. so this is a big stake for uh, uh, manji as well as his party uh, the hindustani awam morcha mm -hmm. and uh, you see uh, uh this has been a traditional uh, uh ground hold for uh, jdu as well as bjp also because bjp has a uh, good uh, influence in certain pockets of uh, gaya aurangabad uh, as well as uh, rohtas yes. region hmm.
Also, uh, not you just mentioned about the Hindustani Awam Morcha, uh, Mr. Ahmed, but this phase is uh, also crucial for the other of uh, BJP allies because BJP here is only contesting on uh, 16 seats. Yeah, the, uh, another uh, NDA ally is uh, uh, Rashtriya Lok Samata Party of Upendra Kushwaha that is contesting a few seats in this region. Yes. Uh, uh, LJP is not here. Hmm. So, it is uh, only BJP, uh, Hindustani Awam Morcha and RLSP that hmm. is contesting all these 32 seats. Hmm. And also, uh, you mentioned about uh, Jitan Ram Manji. Uh, he is contesting on two seats and uh, this is actually really a prestige battle for Manji because it will uh, show how effectively he can actually transfer the Mahadalit vote uh, to the BJP. Oh, certainly, this is a, a prestige uh, battle for Manji. Uh, well, uh, uh, one, he is trying to retain his Makhtumpur seat mm. as well as to uh, rest uh, Imam Gan seat where he is contesting against the sitting uh, uh, MLA as well as Assembly Speaker Uday Narayan Chaudhary. Yes. So, contest is quite uh, bitter and keen in in Imam Ganj, that is a Maoist infested zone. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, these uh, all constituencies have uh, a major presence of uh, Mahadalit votes uh, on which uh, Manji and his party is banking on. Hmm. Manji's son is also contesting from yes. one constituency hmm. and his son in law, as a rebel uh, Hindustani Awam Morcha candidate, in contesting from both Gaya. Yes. So, a, a lot uh, at his stake for Man, Manji and his family and his party as well. And he, a number of other key players. His party is uh, yes. primarily. Yes, yes, please continue. Yeah, his party is primarily banking on uh, uh, Mahadalit as well as upper caste, uh, upper caste because of BJP uh, connection and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mahadalit because of his own popularity and base. Yes, the so number of key players uh, in the second phase, we have Upendra Kushwaha, we have Ram Vilas Paswan, we have Manji, we have BJP's uh, Prem Kumar. The fate of all these candidates uh, are going to be decided today. Mr. Ahmed, you stay with us. We'll just come back to you. Meanwhile, in order to attract women voters in large numbers, now new initiatives have been taken uh, by the Election Commission this time. Around seven polling booths in Gaya are being manned by women. Now, how high-level security arrangements have also been provided to these polling stations. Look, the women empowerment theme को ध्यान में रख करके ये पूरा concept रखा गया है. आज election खास करके गया जैसे जिलों में जहाँ नक्सल प्रभाव है, वहाँ लोगों में एक थोड़ा भय पैदा होता है. लोगों में खौफ पैदा रहता है कि साहब polling station जाएंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा? उस माहौल को ठीक करने के लिए हम लोगों ने किया कि महिलाएं जब मतदान केंद्र संभाल रही हैं, महिलाओं के हाथ में जब सुरक्षा है, तब सब कुछ अच्छा है। मतलब आप यू कैन बी कॉन्फिडेंट इन और जो कुछ समस्याएं आती हैं वो हर जिले में आती हैं कुछ लेकिन सुरक्षा इतनी हम लोगों ने की है कि व्यवस्था अच्छी रहे और खास करके जब महिलाओं को हम लोगों ने ये व्यवस्था दी तो आसपास के लोगों में खास करके गया टाउन में तो इतना अच्छा माहौल पैदा हुआ और महिलाएं वोट देने के लिए काफ़ी संख्या में आ रही हैं और हमें उम्मीद है कि इस बार हमारा मतदान प्रतिशत बढ़ेगा और विमेन in other news, in what could be termed as a setback to the third front alliance in Bihar, now the Nationalist Congress Party or the NCP has announced that it will contest alone in the ongoing Bihar Assembly elections and it will not ally with any party. Now, giving a severe jewel to Samajwadi Party Supremo Mulayam Singh Yadav and Jan Adhikar Party Chief Papu Yadav, NCP has decided to contest over 45 seats in the state. Now, senior NCP leader Tariq Anwar admitted that there is some confusion in the third front in Bihar. समाजवादी पार्टी जन अधिकार पार्टी एन और हम लोग दूसरी पार्टियां मिलकर जो एक गठबंधन बनाया था उससे हम अपने आप को अलग कर रहे हैं और उसका कारण यही है कि मुलायम सिंह का जो बयान आया वो बयान हम लोग ऐसा मानते हैं कि वो दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है क्योंकि उससे कहीं ना कहीं ये संकेत मिल रहा है कि वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पक्ष में है all right, uh, let's go back to Mr. Ahmed. Mr. Ahmed, now the third front in Bihar really jolted that in the that too in the middle of the uh, assembly polls. How do you think is this going to impact groupings' uh, chances as well as image? Well, this uh, so-called third front uh, uh, was a combination of uh, six parties, including NCP and uh, Papu Yadwa's Jan Adhikar Party, and a 
three little known part, mm. little known parties. Mm. Um, in fact, NCP as well, as far as NCP is concerned, initially it was a partner of Mahagadbandhan. Yes. Of JDU, RJD, and Congress. Yes. And the Mahagadbandhan had left uh, uh, well three seats for NCP. Yes. But NCP, NCP was not satisfied with those three seats. Yes, and NCP had then said that it is being alone. underestimated. Yeah, they, they, they said that his party was underestimated. They mm. have, um, it has one MP from Katihar, mm. Mr. Tariq Anwar himself. So they deserve more seats. They yes. wanted uh, 10 to 12 seats. Yes. But the Gadbandhan gave them only three seats. Mm. Uh, then uh, the NCP decided to go it alone. In between, um, Mulayam Singh Yadav, who was too initially partner of that uh, Janta Parivar uh, uh, proposed merger plan, hmm. and uh, he also got angry with the Mahagadbandhan leaders, Lalu and Nitish, and he also decided to contest uh, Bihar election on its own. So they formed uh, uh, this third front. Uh, I would like to remind that this third front always uh, uh, surfaces uh, uh, during elections, mm. but it never takes place. It never takes off. Take off. Mm. So this time also, uh, uh, I mean, f after first phase of polling and on the eve of the second phase of voting, mm. uh, there is a disintegration is in third front that is causing uh, uh, some. Uh, uh, murmuring in uh, anti Mahagadbandhan camp hmm. because this uh, uh, third front was uh, likely to uh, encroach into the oats of Mahagadbandhan. Yes, but now that uh, NCP has uh, uh, said that it will contest on its own, uh, do you think it is going to further decrease the chances of a third front in the state? Oh, yes, definitely. And you see, uh, NCP has uh, stakes in, uh, uh, say, fourth and fifth uh, phases of polling, that is in Simanchal region of uh, uh, Purnia, Kishangan and Katihar. Hmm. So they will uh, concentrate on that region hmm. and uh, uh, because they have nothing to do with the central Bihar and north Bihar uh, 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 constituencies. Right. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, you stay with us. We'll just come uh, back to you again. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has a tough challenge in trying to check the use of black money. The Commission is using advanced technology to assist its officials with telling effect. Campaigning at fever pitch amid the reckless comments, claims, questionable actions by parties and functionaries. The election commission is having its hands full in dealing with model code violations. To keep an eye on the campaigners, it has pressed into service squads that travel in GPS fitted vehicles. GPS laga hua iska monitoring hota hai centralized aur hum log ko nirdesh jaise milta hai aadha ghante ke andar wahan pahunchte hain. Election commission officials say that compared to the Lok Sabha elections, black money seizures have been more this time. While 6 crore rupees was seized in the 2014 parliamentary elections, Action against all parties in the last four weeks has yielded 15 crore so far. 850 illegal arms have been confiscated. 1500 FIRs have been filed against various people, including administrative officials. Jitni bhi flying squad ke vehicles hain, usme GPS devices lagane ka aur uska online tracking karne ka vyavastha kiya gaya. Jisse jo ye category highest expenditure sensitive constituencies ke jo teams hain unke. Uh, actual moment or jo shikayat mil rahi hai kitna jaldi ja ke wo apna attend kar rahe hain in cheezon ko monitor karne ka vyavastha kiya gaya the election commission has set up 24 hour call centers in all district headquarters anyone can call in with a complaint after which the nearest flying squad team is rushed to the spot jaise ki kahi par paisa baant rahe ho kahi sharab baant rahe ho kabhi saari baant rahe ho aisi koi shikayat aati hai use wo telephone ke madhyam se bataya jata hai hum logon ke dwara usse sambandhit jo padadhikari hain jaise jis vidhan sabha kshetra mein aro hain urandasta hai vvp pt hai jo bhi hai uske tahat usko hum log suchna dete hain aur unke dwara karwai ki jati hai the expenses of political parties on posters banners vehicles cost of lunches and dinners are all added to the party tab. There are parallel teams who observe their work. 
तो उससे भी आर ओ और डी ओ कम्पेयर करते हैं कि कैंडिडेट जो डिक्लेयर कर रहे हैं हमारा इतना खर्च हुआ और उनके जो टीम्स ने ऑब्जर्व किया उसमें क्या खर्च है तो दोनों में डिविएशन है तो उनको नोटिस करते हैं द इलेक्शन कमीशन इज टेकिंग ऑल पॉसिबल स्टेप्स टू एंश्योर अ फ्री एंड फेयर पोल नो डाउट अंडर स्कोरिंग द स्पेशल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दीज असेंबली इलेक्शन प्रणब गोस्वामीज रिपोर्ट फॉर राज्यसभा टीवी All right, uh, let's go back to Mr. Faiz and Ahmed. Mr. Ahmed, now Election Commission faces a major challenge uh, in the not only conducting peaceful uh, polls in the Mao strongholds, but also on how to curb the use of excessive money, especially in elections as crucial as this. Oh yes, uh, it is quite good uh, that uh, Election Commission is quite alert and conscious, as well as uh, its teams. and uh, the authorities of uh, income tax they are conducting raids constantly for the last uh, one month or so and they have uh, seized a record uh, um, amount of uh, over rupees 15 crore yes so this is a big achievement for uh, these uh, uh, authorities conducting the election mm. as well as the violation of the model code of conduct is concerned they have um, Uh, large cases uh, against uh, uh, many top politicians they have sent notices to them mm. and they have also warned them only yesterday uh, uh, the um, billboards of uh, prime minister narendra modi and the bjp were pulled down uh, from the premises of uh, patna airport as well as the uh, patna railway station mm. for which uh, these uh, opposition parties has petition to the election commission that uh, they are misusing their official positions mm. even election commission also chastised the rjd chief lalu prasad for uh, violation of uh, mo- model That's code right. of con- conduct right. uh, uh, yeah. for his caste yeah, remark yeah for 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 yes for using the caste remark mm-hmm. and also uh, warned sub uh, show cause notice to mr sharad yadav yes Uh, uh mr ahmed now uh, as far as use of excessive money is concerned now former election commission chief uh, k j rao had uh, said in an interview recently that it is important for the voters uh, to pick up candidates with clean image uh, but look at it this way uh, that is if you look at the second phase of elections uh, almost one third of uh, the uh, people who are contesting they have criminal cases against them so that leaves very little choice uh, with the voters is yes, uh, almost all the parties have fielded uh, candidates who are facing criminal charges hmm. some even facing uh, CV, serious uh, criminal charges hmm. like murder and uh, uh, decoity and kidnapping and um, uh, even rape hmm. and there are also the billionaires uh, who are using money you see uh, um, you ref- made reference of mr k j rao in every elections uh, uh, such appeals are made uh, from the senior elements that uh, the good and honest uh, uh, politician should be elected but the problem is that uh, uh, political parties mainly uh, concentrate they depend on uh, uh, the viability of the candidate instead of seeing their merit and honesty so mm-hmm. they prefer the karopati uh, is as well as those who have uh, muscle money and muscle power mm. this is uh, not a uh, very good uh, uh, for the health of the democracy it mm. sh- there should be some uh, sort of reforms uh, in the selection of the candidate by all the parties and voters definitely have that nota option ready isn't it oh yes that is fine nota uh, yeah nota uh, has become a good uh, option for the people if they don't want any uh, uh, candidate to win uh, I, i am telling you a very surprising thing that in some uh, at some uh, polling stations uh, hmm. nota was voted more than any candidate in last election oh really okay uh, now since we are talking about uh, use of black money use of excessive money mr ahmed uh, Uh, how now we, when we talk of uh, that sting uh, operation on one of uh, nitish kumar's ministers now uh, nitish kumar's uh, party has taken a moral high ground uh, but how do you think is uh, this sting operation uh, is going to impact really uh, nitish uh, nitish kumar uh, uh, the chances really in these elections is yes, that was a um 
quite shocking for Nitish Kumar and his government that one of his uh, minister was caught uh, on camera. Uh, but Nitish Kumar acted swiftly and he uh, uh, not only uh, dropped him uh, from this council of minister but also uh, mm. uh, uh, withdrew him from the contest. Mm. And another uh, JDU candidate is contesting from that constituency. So that uh, has gone, uh, I think that has gone uh, well uh, with the electorates uh, uh, and his uh, supporters that uh, Mr. Nitish Kumar has taken a good and uh, a very positive stand. Mm -hmm. uh, Nitish Kumar is also using it in his election uh, meetings uh, uh, and his speeches that, uh, uh, you see, uh, my uh, one of my uh, minister was caught on camera and I have dropped him, but uh, uh, BJP is now doing this and he uh, gives reference to one uh, union minister of state who belongs to Bihar from whose uh, house rupees 2 crore was found uh, seized by the police yes. after the ele Lok Sabha election. Right. Uh, but Mr. Ahmed, if you look at a bigger picture as far as the election commission is con concerned over the conduct of the polls in the state of Bihar, uh, but we have, uh, the, the commission has come a long way because uh, uh, I remember in 2005, there were very many instances of booth capturing uh, and uh, some violence also happening. But uh, we must uh, really uh, congratulate the uh, Election Commission in carrying out uh, free and uh, ensuring a really free and uh, fair polls, especially in the state of Bihar. Oh, yes, certainly the credit goes to the Election Commission and its officials who are working uh, very hard to conduct a peaceful and fair election. And you see, in, in uh, this uh, first phase of polling in 49 constituencies, there had hardly been any instance of uh, malpractice. Uh, or uh, Only in one uh, polling booth, uh, uh, re-polling has been ordered. So it is a big, uh, big uh, uh, achievement of the election commission and I am confident and so far uh, there is um, uh, during the last two hours there is no report of any untoward incident from any of the 32 constituencies going to vote uh, all in the uh, election process today. Really congratulations uh, to the election commission uh, there. Uh, so the polling is on for the second uh, phase of elections in Bihar. Remember uh, the elections in the state are being uh, are being uh, conducted in five phases and the counting of uh, votes will take place on 8th of November and that is uh, the verdict uh, that everybody is waiting for. Thank you so much uh, Mr. Ahmed for joining us yes. this morning and Thank sharing you. your perspective on uh, that story. Well that is all in this edition of Verdict 2015 but we'll keep getting you all the updates on Bihar polls through the day so keep watching Rajasabha TV for latest news and analysis. Thanks for watching.